Why are you motivated to move in these directions? Our senses move into sense objects. What is the thing that is behind this? Why things appear beautiful or good to you at some time? At some time it doesn't. You go to Hawaii and say, oh, Hawaii is so beautiful. People who live in Hawaii, they simply say, the Hawaii is beautiful. They don't feel the way you feel it. Sometimes they don't even appreciate that. What makes you appreciate things? What makes you move towards these things? And why your prana is full? What makes your prana move? What makes your heart beat? What is the power behind all this involuntary function that is happening within you? And what makes you speak? And what makes people to speak? It's interesting. Think about it. What makes you do all that? <laughs> at some time you want to see, at some time you don't want to see, you want to shut your eyes. Sometimes you want to hear. It's not just the thing of ears that they want to, the ear want to listen all the time. Something is making you hear. Something says, no, I don't want to listen now. What is that something in you that is propelling all that? What is this nature of this spirit? What is this spirit? Who is this spirit? So it all begins, what? What? I want to leave it at that. I want you to just, just say what? You know the question why comes to us when we are in misery, but what comes to us when you are inquisitive, when there is spirit of anger? Why me is when you are miserable, but what is this is what, who, when, how, this is propelling towards knowledge. Someone asks, why am I miserable? And you try to give them an answer, they're not ready to listen to the answer. In misery you don't understand anything, your, your, your head is shut off, your mind is shut off. But that's why it's the first peace. When you are peaceful, then spirit of inquiry, creativity, knowledge, understanding can all happen on the basis of peace. So it's not the peace which is, which is not that acceptance which is so dull and which, uh, which goes off to sleep. It's not a tamasic acceptance. It's a very positive, alert, aware state of acceptance. You are, you are accepting it but with fully conscious of it. One type of acceptance is you when you fall asleep when you accepted everything. Another type of acceptance is you're willingly there, fully accepting the pleasant, the unpleasant adversaries as part of the whole phenomenon. What is the divine power which is behind our eyes, behind our ears? behind our prana and the mind. 
What is that? What is that? Do not just listen to somebody they say this is it. This what has to rise from within you. You have to ask who am I? What is this prana? You don't have to study somebody else's prana. Study your own prana. You are breathing, you look into what? How this breath is moving in and out? How my eyes are functioning? How my mind is functioning? What is propelling me to think this way or that way? What is the driving force behind all that all this is? So this questioning is very important. So when you walk, when you eat, what? <laughs> what? Who? Just that one word is good enough. Just recollect what? Recollect? Recollect? What? Who? Where? When? No concept, drop all other concepts. All that you have studied, keep them all on one side. A fresh mind, today I say you don't know nothing. What? What? Got it? What? <laughs> That's it. What? Got it? What? Did you get anything? Who? Did you? Who?